Well, this question was shared privately with me, so I can't disclose who asked the question, but the question is, why does the U.S. government hire a good IT programming company and develop Linux-based U.S. government operating system to be used in all departments and a specific one just for the military, another one for science, math, engineering, etc. In the long run, it would save quite a lot of money in Microsoft licensing. The same company, after making the OS, could already or could port already made programs like LibreOffice, OpenOffice.org, and GIMP and create new ones the government needs. Just a thought. Good thought on that. Um, I'll just share with you my opinion for what it's worth, and that is that I think a venture of that size would be a massive undertaking, cost a tremendous amount of money, and more importantly, I don't think there would be the political will uh, on Capitol Hill to fund such a venture because we have a government very much opposed to the government getting involved with what's being handled by the private sector. So you have Microsoft out there. Uh, now, we un let's understand that in many government applications, Linux is used big time. That's what runs their supercomputers and all this kind of stuff. And however, uh, in the offices out there, the FBI, Homeland Security, Food and Drug Administration, all that, you find Windows on the desktop. And Microsoft has a huge stake in all of this. They have very powerful lobbyists in Washington as well. So from a political thing, I think something like that would never get approved. If you think of it this way, if the government made an operating system, the federal government, then the state governments would want it. If the state governments would want it, then your Fortune 500 companies would want it. And then your Fortune 500 companies, then your Fortune 1000, and could literally inflict a massive amount of damage on Microsoft. Not to imagine uh, the problems that would come with trying to port uh, the more and more applications that would creep up that uh, this particular uh, department needed that only has a Windows version and they've got to have it to do their thing. Uh, now this company would have to figure out how to make this application or the developers would have to port uh, these applications to this government-based Linux system. At the end of the day, uh, it really boils down to political will and also the enormous cost uh, that would be paid to whoever this company is. This company, in effect, would become another Microsoft, more or less, because they're the ones that's making this government Linux. We already have Microsoft Windows. And uh, I understand where you're coming from on the cost of licensing and that kind of thing, but I think ultimately... Uh, Linux is good in certain areas, and it's being used, I think, quite effectively by the government on many, many applications. But Microsoft is still dominant in the office environment, and the cost of trying to port all these applications and get them to run on this government OS would just be a massive boondoggle, if you will. Great question. Thanks for asking, even though I can't disclose who asked the question.